Hey YouTubes, welcome back. Reddit Math here for a little more Bloodborne. Uh, just skipped about 60 seconds or so, so you guys wouldn't have to watch me uh, hit a couple of load screens so I could warp over back to the Great Bridge so I could head back and grab our Blood Echoes. Whoa, there's a guy there too. Alright. This way, this way. See if I can. Nope. Man, really, uh. Trying to figure out this parry stun timing thing. A little harder for me than I would like it to be on these guys. Hmm. There we go. Gotcha. One down and because they can be stun locked pretty consistently. bullet, but some, man, I don't know, I just, uh, I'm not quite sure what the timing is supposed to be for these guys. Right. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't mind using the blood vials on these guys too badly, because they're, uh, likely to drop some more. Whoa. Ladder over there? Can I... interesting? I can climb down? Where is this? Alright, well, uh, my mind is blown a little bit here. Um, there's another ladder there, so I, I can get back up here from down there. Is this the same area with the that I was just in? No way, because uh, no, no, that's definitely different. There's like a definite bridge there. Hmm. Let's come down on this side since I know there's. Oh well, so there's a bridge right there. Okay, well, um, let's check out what's going on over here. See, like, those guys, no problem. Humanoid, there's a wind-up. I totally get it. That was probably a complete waste of bullets, but, well, I can just generate blood bullets, and these guys are more than willing to accommodate. Gnarly. I like how they're they're sort of reddish in their fur. Cool to have a little bit of color in the different enemies. Like I think that's neat. This um, you know as my blood-stained coat sort of demonstrates. It's uh, sort of the of the game seems to be that kind of black and red color. Oh. Later, pal. Item there. Do this without falling off. Yeah, okay. Thick cold blood. So that's the stuff that just gives us blood echoes. Man. 
Uh, plunging attack just ain't what it used to be. And where is this leading? Whoa. Oh, hello, friend. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. This guy's health is pretty uh, crazy there. Ugh. So wait, is this where I was earlier? Like down... Yeah, you come from that way and you go and you're up and... Alright. There's hat, hunter, garb, hunter. Is this... That's what I'm wearing, right? No. I'm wearing the Yarnum Hunter. Which... Uh, hmm. So it's better against blunt and blood. but worse against arcane and bolt and poison like slow poison rapid poison resistance of frenzy so that's the thing that killed me earlier that was like an invisible enemy uh, was building up a frenzy meter when temporarily transformed interesting Okay, okay. Um, so overall... Seems to be a little bit better for, like, the mundane sort of fighting that I'm doing. Check this out. Okay. I like the kind of fuller face mask thing, that's a torn, sort of worn uh, triangle cap in the back. Wow. Much lighter overall uh, in color, I mean. Speaking of lighter overall, is there a weight stat? I don't, I don't seem to have like encumbrance anymore. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Ow. Range isn't quite as good as I thought it was. Alright. Turn the favor with one of those throwing knives. And look at that guy's eye. Ugh. It's just like I think it's supposed to kind of evoke a putrid, sort of pus filled thing. It does a decent enough job. Okay, um, no wait. Was there not a ladder from down here back up? No, oh, okay, over here. Huh. Well, this was an interesting little side jaunt. I'm guessing the armor set was, like, the reason for this here. Uh... It's just dead ends, right? Okay. I got everything over there, got everything over there. <laughs> and back up the ladders we go. I 
Um, I'll go ahead and warn you guys right now, I'm definitely going to be playing Fashion Souls, even if it's not a Souls game. So uh, we'll, we'll be looking at equipment that just looks cool, because I've got to stare at it for hours, and most of the time, whether or not you're going to die is based on whether or not you're going to dodge. So I think I like that better. And then the, uh... Oh, that's just the starting equipment, basically. Better versus thrust, better versus arcane, better versus poison. Blood defense. Oh, so wait, is that just the starting hunter thing? I also have a top hat. Holy top hat. Hunter garb, hunter garb. Oh, okay, they're just like, they're named the same. They have the same stats? No, they don't have the same stats. The foreign garb is the same. So we already had... Hunter's gloves. Hmm. All right. Let's give this a try for a little bit. We'll see how annoyed I get with uh, staring at the back of a top hat for a while. Um. Well, I guess the uh, back to the Odin area. Um, I did talk to the lady who was looking for a safe place. I wonder if she'll like be there the next time I go. If that's a possible thing. Oh, whoa. That did not stun that guy the way I thought it would. Out of bullets. Seriously, after all that, and I just get my face smashed in. Oh man, that was rough, real rough. Oh boy. I guess the uh, constant lesson to be learning here is that you gotta respect the game. If uh, coming back to these areas, Thinking that I've fought these enemies a dozen times, and clearly I am shown the error of my ways pretty quickly. But on the plus side, blunt versus thrust. Better. It's really weird. Let's go with this roll. Uh, the good news is I died like right over here. I don't have to go too far. The bad news is I was so close, and then I got myself killed. Backstep strong attack is like, oh, is like even cooler. Seriously? I'm just gonna like let this guy run me down every time? Okay. You know, why not? Oh. Man. Suddenly, enemy have fought. Okay. I would swear to you that I dodged there. 
I think his charge was actually like an attack and it caught me a little bit sort of stunning me uh, and then my echoes died like right up against this right little bastard he was stealing my blood echoes that's interesting because he doesn't patrol at all and I was so it's it's not just like they have to walk over them it's a radius type thing okay well, that's interesting I was worried there for a minute I was like did I do something that made me lose those that was weird all right Huh? Well, I guess we got 39, 21 blood. Uh, head back, see if there's any cool stuff to spend it on. And then after that, we can check out our uh, Odin area again. She's awake. I don't know what caused her to sometimes not be there him to sometimes not be there there's uh definitely some weird alterations close it will be a long hunt tonight if the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits seek a holy chalice as every hunter before you has a holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods where hunters partake in communion okay you know whatever that means holy chalice most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts perfect place for a hunter wouldn't you say we might have different ideas of perfect one of the holy chalices is worship in the valley hamlet a town of peace one of the okay in the hamlet town of beasts play for place for a hunter oh okay so this thing kept telling me like my insight was too low, but uh, up in the top right there, it's finally gotten to 12. Okay, a uh, punch of blood cocktail. True blood cocktail, okay. Small resident bell, help hunters in other worlds. Okay. So, co-op and invasions. A uh, small bell discovered in the old underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. This bell resonates with his counterpart, the beckoning bell, ring to help hunters in other worlds. The sinister resonant bell is a blood-stained bell discovered in the old underground labyrinth. One of the resonating bells that cross the gaps of worlds, but this one knells from misfortune and malice. The sinister bell is an object of dark thoughts. Ring it to become the enemy of a hunter. 
Okay, so basically... Uh, soapstone, invasion... The uh, boss that I just fought. And grab his gear. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Oh, and then. Huh. So I wonder. Uh, apparently, I've got to get over a certain amount of insight for this guy to even be here. And then when I drop below that number of insight, it just leaves. I think. And are these still the chalice things? Make sure filter. Short ritual root chalice is required to connect. The holy chalice is plus it. This one always told me what kind of chalice. Alright, let's check out uh, stuff. So, better against arcane bolt poison. I still think this is like real good. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like a cowboy. If I could get a six shooter. I think I'd be totally set. So, better against blunt and thrust. Pretty nice in a lot of ways. Hmm. I dig it. Okay. Let's uh let's check this out for a little bit. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well, let me see. Go and up our skill a little bit. So we've been using the the cane whip, so it makes sense. Countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Over time, come the great it all farewell. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and stop here for today, guys. Uh, when we return, we'll go ahead and head back into the tomb of Odin. Um... Although the Cathedral Ward is further along, that's interesting. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll head back into the Tomb of Odin uh, and check out those other paths left unexplored. Uh, leave a like and a comment. They're definitely appreciated. And I will see you guys next time.